at the end. So my first question is, you know, what do you need today? And if you don't mind, this is where if you feel, you know, like you want to share and you feel like you want to be transparent and you want to get more out of today than, than, you know, potentially possible if you didn't share, uh, I always say that this is a positive, supportive uh, environment. If you want to type in the chat a goal that you have specific to how to pivot, how to pivot maybe faster, uh, if you have a time management challenge, if you have a goal for the second half of 2020, because right now we're at exactly in the halfway point of the year. Can you believe that? Tomorrow, July 1st, we're starting a whole new, almost like, almost like a whole new year because 2020, as we know, has been very different. And some people have pivoted really quick and some are still in that process. So we're gonna break that down. So please take notes. And then of course, uh, the goal today is for me to train you for 30, maybe 40 minutes at the most, and then have Q&A at the end. So I have two outcomes today. I always am intentional. I've learned that as an athlete, as a mom, as a business owner, as a speaker. I don't want you guys to just show up to get some positive rah-rah, juju, good feeling dopamine hit. <laughs> I want you to actually walk away with one clearly defined action item that you're going to take. And then uh, number two, at the end, I am going to share with you how you can, or maybe if you re know someone who's struggling with any of the topics we talk about today and you want to refer them to me, I'm never too busy for your referrals. I'm going to share with you how people can work with me right now, starting tomorrow, starting third quarter to kick off this new, I call it a new year, and you're going to understand why that is in a moment. So we have, today is the halfway point. Tomorrow is July 1st, like I said, a new quarter, or as I like to say, a new 12-week year. And I'd love to know, and, and again, this is the interaction part, if you guys want to share, you know, has 2020 gone the way that you thought it might? Because we started this year, I, I know I had big goals, big vision, big dreams, and then life happened. And in my case, even death, I've had two big big, big icons in my life, family members die unexpectedly like that. And I do know that for me, if I hadn't had the tools that I'm giving you today, right now, I, I don't know where I would be. Everything that I'm sharing with you, I've amassed over the last 13 years, well, actually really last 20 years of my life. And I can honestly tell you today, I've accomplished actually more goals and dreams that I, then I had set January 1st. Some of them look a little different. I did pivot in, in certain streams of income that I have, um, but I'm actually thriving. And I, I say that with humility. Um, <laughs> so I just read that you're looking for the rah-rah dopamine hit. Awesome, great. <laughs> well, I hope, I hope you, can, uh, you can get some of that. So thanks for your honesty. Thank you, Ian. Thank you, Jenny. So what do you wanna create? That's what I want to know. What do you want to create this next six months or this next 12 weeks or heck, even these next 30 days? So why do I bring this up, this halfway point? You know, there's a lot of things you could focus on right now, right? And we all have heard the phrase, what you focus on expands. And we're, we're headed into a two-year recession, give or take. You know, I'm not an economist, okay? Full disclosure, I'm not a doctor. I, I can't prescribe what's gonna happen. Uh, I don't have a crystal ball. Um, I do have some tools that have been very helpful for me to see the future, if you will. And there's financial advisors and friends of mine in different arenas of the world that said, you know, 2020 and 2021, we're in a recession. Obviously there's numbers that you can't argue, 30 plus million unemployed, 40% of jobs will not come back. And there's some of my clients actually completely pivoted already and I've helped them start new businesses, new streams of income. And there's a lot you can be focusing on right now. And I've personally lived this. I was prepared for this pandemic and this recession, but back in 2006, 2007, and 2008, it was a three-year journey for me. If you don't know my story, just really, really quick. 
Uh, I was very, very successful. I was a sales trainer in real estate. I had a sales team. I was making multiple six figures. I had a mortgage company that was also a part of that multiple six figures. I had a real estate investment firm and I was building my dream million dollar home on the shores of Tempe Town Lake, right across from Arizona State University. And the faucet turned off everything stopped and in less than a year's time i went from the pinnacle of my career and i was about 28 at that time um, had big dreams traveling the world life was good and i fell <laughs> and i fell hard it was like a freight train just hit me and i was flattened had my own version of shelter in place there was no pandemic other than what we would call you know the great recession my business partners skipped town uh, I, I lost everything, uh, sold my house just barely in the nick of time, but that wasn't enough to help me. I had three foreclosures and I even had my car repossessed at that point. So I had my own shelter in place and I had to rebuild my life. I was like that phoenix rising from the ashes and everything that I'm sharing with you today, well, I can only share so much in a short period of time helped me go from debt, like six, multiple six figures debt. That's when I met my husband. <laughs> so, and he came in with his own debt, right? From divorce and, and we both were like wounded, you know, souls walking through the fog of life. And we fell in love and we started this beautiful family. And it wasn't all fairy tales and, you know, tulips and, you know, daisies and all that kind of stuff. It, it took us five, plus years actually to recover and people ask you know how did you do it how did you get back on the horse how did you pivot it, you know it wasn't really a pivot it was more of a, <laughs> a long long road um, but everything that I learned was worth the price of admission guys and uh, what I'm sharing with you today is is a sliver of that people ask you know did you just did you start a new business and you make a bunch of phone calls um, there's a picture of my family farm right there where I grew up was it just you worked your butt off every day and then did you have mentors which is a picture of one of my many mentors that I've had over the last 13 years and I say yes yes and yes that was part of it absolutely I do believe in hard work. I don't believe in workaholism. I'm a recovering workaholic. I don't know if I can get an amen from anyone out there. I do believe in some semblance of work-life balance, or if you don't like that phrase, work-life harmony. You know, we don't, we, we don't just work to live, uh, or sorry, live to work. We work to live, right, and, and create a life. But there is more to that. And these are my four tips you know, that I work with my clients on is how to set the mindset of a sales champion. I had to rebuild my mindset. Number two, I had to learn how to generate leads from home because I was, I didn't have a car. Remember I had a bicycle. So I had to learn how to sell virtually. So I'm comparing then to today. Okay. If you're with me, I learned how to master prospecting online and lead generation online and virtually. I learned my own, created my own time management formulas, which I'm going to share with you today. This was even before the 12 week year. I'm going to share both of those time frames with you. And then of course, CRM mastery, how to not just have the leads, you know, it's great to have leads and it's great to have limitless leads, but how you follow up, the fortune is always in the follow up. But today we're going to focus on that step number three. It's known as time management, known as productivity, known as efficiency, otherwise also known as getting more stuff done. Now, I believe and have learned time is money. Would you guys agree? If you agree with that, type in the chat, time is money. And what I mean by that is for every hour you spend, you have some something value that you're probably worth, whether you're $500 an hour or $200 an hour, or you could be somewhere else right now. Um, my joke was today, if you don't have enough time for this webinar, you need to be on this webinar, right? You can't make money back, right? Or sorry, you can make more money. You just can't make more time or can you? There's outsourcing, there's leverage. There's all sorts of things that I can teach you, but just really thinking about, do you value your time as much as your money? And I say, heck yeah. Like I budget my time. I literally, I'm going to show you my time budgeting tools today so that I don't waste time because I don't, I can't afford that. And I don't think you can either. Now, one little kind of paradigm shift 
because there's people out there and you might be one of them. You can even put that in the chat. There's people who don't like to wear watches. They don't like to be told where to be. I'm an entrepreneur, man. Like I don't, I don't want structure. Structure, no, that doesn't work for me. I just want to float through life and just the money's going to show up, right? And I'm not saying that that's wrong. It's just we were all born and created for structure. If you think of, you know, I'm a mom. How many moms out there? Shout out if you're a mom. If I didn't get that baby on a poop, sleep, and eating schedule, <laughs> guess who was going crazy, right? Schizo. I, I needed my sleep. I needed to have some way to put this little new alien human into some kind of structure that was predictable so I didn't go crazy. Even now with our kids in the pandemic, I've got a seven and 11 year old, we were forced to homeschool. I had to find ways to give them structure because without structure, they would have driven us crazy and they would have been choosing to spend their time on electronics all day. Even in school, they have different periods and compartmentalizing so you can focus on that one thing. There's a great book called The Power of Full Engagement by Tony Schwartz. If you haven't read it, it's one of my favorites on efficiency and productivity. That could be one action item. You go out and get that book and read it. But he wrote that book in, in a 90 days, in a quarter. You know, maybe tomorrow, July 1st, you have a goal, you want to write a book. I've done that myself, by the way. He, he talks about in that book about how, just like kids in school, you can only focus really on one thing at a time and do it well. If you're multitasking, checking your email every five seconds, you're stopping the flow. You're stopping your focus of energy. You're stopping what may be possible in, in increasing your income, increasing your productivity. So today I wanna to talk about your inner game. You can even write this down if you want. We're gonna talk about your inner game of time management and creating more in less time, your outer game, and taking action. You know, have you ever heard that question, you know, how come, you know, there's 24 hours in a day, we all get the same amount of time, right? We don't know when our end clock is gonna be, when we're gonna pass on to the next hereafter, but we all get the same amount of time. And yet, why is it that some people get more done than others? Why do some people get more done than others. We're going to talk about that. If I can get, there we go. So on a scale of one to 10, and yes, that is a picture of me <laughs> when I was a baby. I love that picture because I'm a sales trainer, right? I've taught people how to cold call. I've taught people scripts and what you're supposed to say to that you know, prospect and how to follow up from steps one to eight to close, right? So I was born with a phone attached to me. I love it. I, I owe my family a lot of money for that because that, that picture speaks volumes. Um, but even, you know, time management, I'd like you to rate yourself, you know, on a scale of one to 10 with 10 being, I get everything done. I have my list. I, I wake up in the morning, first of all, waking up refreshed because I slept awesome. No stress. I get everything done on my checklist and I even have extra time to just twiddle my thumbs or or go to the beach. I get everything done that fills my soul. Maybe I even do it so well I've outsourced everything and I, I only work two or three hours a day. So rate yourself and if you want to share it in the chat that would be amazing. Again totally you can even do it to me privately. You can even email it to me later. No one should be a 10. <laughs> I don't think anybody's a 10. I don't, I don't even think, uh, you know, Warren Buffett would give himself a 10. We can always get better, right? We can always get better. So you wouldn't be here if, right now if you didn't believe that you can get better. So the goal is, you know, maybe you could set this as an action item is how can you get better in this next three months, 12 weeks, this next quarter on your time management. If, if you were able to figure out what you value, you know, I charge $500 an hour for one-on-one -on -one coaching, right? So even being here right now doing this, this free events, that's costing me in theory, you know, time and money. So 
how can I get better? Well, for me, it's doing more webinars. For me, it's being able to be in front of more people, you know, figuring out for you what is the most best positive way you can spend your time. We're going to talk about that today. All right. So first, inner game. Um, a lot of they talk about this in the book, The 12 Week Year. Um, Tony Schwartz talks about it in The Power of Full Engagement. Time, just like money, is a mindset. If, if you look at time as something that, you know, you're wasting or if you, you don't think work-life balance is possible, you know, that's a mindset that you chose to have. That's your story. That's, that's your language. Do you ever say, oh my gosh, I wish I had more time? Do you even hear yourself saying that? Sometimes people don't even hear themselves and maybe you're not verbalizing it. It's, it's, I know Jenny is on here. She's my subconscious mind coach. 90% of what's driving you to spend or choose how to spend your time comes from your subconscious mind. She and I are gonna do a webinar on the 21st of July. Uh, hopefully you guys can attend that where we talk about how to remove those blocks because sometimes it's all about just raising your consciousness. That's my goal today too, is just raise your consciousness level on how you spend your time and how you can also maybe, once you're aware, how you can change that. So I would encourage you to write down an affirmation. This is the, my favorite affirmation is, I'm a time management ninja. I choose to spend my time wisely, just like Warren Buffett chooses his investments, right? <laughs> he, he's one of the best investors of his, of his wealth. That's why he's created more wealth. Think of it this way, if you become a time management ninja, or if you say, I love managing my time use, uh, we're gonna talk about what that means later, time use or time choices, it's all about choices, right? On how you spend your time. But it starts with your mindset. To think is to create. Another affirmation I have on here is, I'm a master at saying no and staying true to my goals. Part of what the 12 week year and my certification with that talks about vision. We're not going to do a deep dive into vision today. There's no time. But if you're really clear on your vision and your goals and something comes your way to distract you from them, you're just going to say, no, I got these boundaries. I'm clear. I'm set. And that's a mindset being able to say no. If it's to be, it's up to me. If you feel like you're running on the hamster wheel, just know that it was all started in your mind and then your actions and your feelings and your emotions around that will follow. So what is your vision? What do you want starting tomorrow? You know, tomorrow's a clean slate. Maybe this past quarter, this past six months didn't go exactly the way you thought. Not a deal, right? Tomorrow is a new day. Tonight ends tonight. You can have a clean slate and a clean vision. So if you want to write your vision and at the same time, you can do that. You know, what do you want to create the next quarter, the next six months, and even in 2021 or 2023 or 2025? That's part of your inner game. Again, we're not diving into that today, but if you read the book, The 12 Week Year, that's actually where it starts because without a vision, without a mindset focused on that vision daily, I write my vision down every day, you guys. That's one of my super duper golden nuggets. I write my vision down, not every day, I'm, I'm not perfect, I am human. I write it down 90% of the time. And I even write it down on the weekends. I've even recorded it on my phone and I listen to that. I do listen every single morning. As soon as I wake up, instead of filling my mind with Facebook or filling my mind with media or, or whatever is going on or email or text messages, I have my phone on do not disturb. And I listen to my voice with my vision for the end of 2020. And again, I recorded it at the end of 2019. So I believe, again, this is a time management hack. If I listen to my vision every day, if I write it down, or if you're a vision board person, it makes it easier for me to stay on course. So what do you want? Write it down. Feel free to share. And, and this is the book I wanted to share with you. So really quick story, a uh, great backstory. I, I, I became, you know, when I, when I went through the recession, um, I rebuilt my life. I rebuilt my time management. I rebuilt my vision. I started from scratch with nothing. So I hope there's no one on this call today 
that's in that space. But there's something very humbling and actually re just liberating about starting with nothing. I, I had the ability to create new habits, new skills, and actually a lot of my time management skills and tools I owe to that, that turning point, that clean slate. And I went about my ways, I became a mom, and I don't know if there's any moms out here can relate to this, or dads for that matter, because we all have that same, you know, uh, sometimes men gain the same amount of weight their wives do, you know how that is, because sympathy weight, uh, <laughs> empathy weight. But you know, you get that mom brain, you don't sleep. Like I didn't sleep for five years. I swear to God, my children were like trying to kill me. <laughs> and I got brain fog, the mom thing, the mom brain really became a real thing for me. So I got kind of sloppy. I got kind of sloppy with my time management. If that's happened to you, if you wanna say yes, I totally can relate. You can put that in the chat. So it was about six years into motherhood and I read this book. I tell you, I could have written this book because I was actually doing a lot of this before I became a mom from the standpoint of productivity, efficiency, and the science behind it is what I've lived as an athlete. And within, you know, I finished the book and within uh, two 12 week years back to back, and I'll explain to you why Brian says 12 week year, not 90 days, not quarter but two back-to-back 12-week -back year, week years on my own, mind you, I didn't have a coach at that time. Now I'm all about coaches. I've got like three coaches right now, but I got more done in those two back-to-back -back 12 weeks than I had, it felt like in the previous six years. I was just clear. I cleared away the cobwebs. I had focus. I recommitted to my own time management tools that I knew that I had. So I highly encourage you to get that book. Now here's why he put 12 weeks. If, if you didn't know this kind of fun fact, one thing you didn't know about Lois, if you already knew me, is I was one of the first of 100 certified P90X trainers that was trained by Tony Horton himself. If you've ever done P90X, put it in the chat. Uh, I was die hard, die hard as an Ironman triathlete. Every time I could find a new way to beat up my body <laughs> and compete at a high level, I was going to do it, right? And so I love the 90-day program because it was based on, as a personal trainer, we learned something called periodization. And periodization is a science that was used by Olympians. I'm going to show you that on the next slide of peak performance training. Now, the key component, though, is a lot of times even 90 days sounds like too much to the brain to make a commitment. It goes along with annualized thinking. Now, if you wanted to consider tomorrow like a new year, new year's resolution, whatever, don't do it. Just think of it as a new 12 week year. Because when you think of a year, a lot of people think of new year's resolutions. They don't work. I was in the health and fitness industry. I've coached thousands and thousands of people on health, fitness, nutrition, and weight loss. And people gave up. By February 1st, the gyms were empty. And ultimately, why is that? It's because it's too, too much work. It's too far into the future for most people to see. Now, I, I do coach on you know, one-year vision, three-year vision, five-year. But how do you take a chunk out of that? In 90 days, that's still too much. So if you think of it in 12 weeks, then you compartmentalize and you compress timeframes. In the 12 week year, one day equals one week. One week equals one month. And one month equals well, pretty much one year. So you have to focus and it's easier also to say no in that experience. This is one of my clients, Chris. He's a bookkeeper. I love the name of his bookkeeping company. It's Live Free. That's his dream. Um, since he's been working with me in the last 60 days in our online coaching program, he now, he didn't have a schedule before. And I'm going to help you write that schedule here in, as, we, as we get closer to the end. Um, he's now balancing life and work and having fun, all while being more productive. He's now working on his vision, he's got an office, that's also helped with his productivity. And now he's gonna have his next 12 week year, he's almost done with his first 12 week year and working on his, his CRM. And that's all happened just in the last three months or 12 weeks. So what do you wanna create? 
what do you want to create? This this is a picture of of what this is kind of boring. If you're not in the science, don't don't I don't want to lose you right now. Um, but this is what periodization does. It talks about if you think of an Olympian or someone like me who is an athlete for for more than a, a decade, like high level training, wanting to win and and win races and usually finishing in the top ten because I focus on twelve week training schedules all the time. And every minute, every hour, every day of every week was committed to very specific training methods. And so that's what we want to help you do. So the outer game, this is part number two, is what is your ideal work week? And I'm going to ask you a question. You can put this in the chat or just make sure you write this down is how many hours a week do you want to work? Write this down share it in the chat. If you, maybe this is more something for a year from now, or maybe like right now, how many hours per week do you work? And do you know how you spend all of those hours? Do you map that out every Sunday night? I put on their Sunday night game plan is part of my outer game. I have my mindset. I'm a time management ninja, time use. I, I know exactly how I spend my time and I put it down on paper. And every Sunday night I reflect and I visualize the perfect week. And then during the week, I have evening reflection before I go to bed. I look at my day. How did I spend my day? And I'll, I'll show you visuals here in a second. And I course correct the next day. Maybe you had a bad day. Everyone, has anyone ever had a bad day? <laughs> Where you're like, oh my gosh, can I just go back and do that again? But did you reflect on it? Did you reflect on it and actually say, you know what? Um, I got distracted by Facebook today and I ended up spending two hours on Facebook and I didn't make all my phone calls. Or I saw something uh, you know, in the news and it really, it really caught me off guard and man, I was, I was pissed off for like two hours and I didn't get everything done that I wanted to today. You know, that can change you, right? That can stop you in your tracks and you can say, you know what, tomorrow I'm not going to do that. Tomorrow I'm going to stay off Facebook or tomorrow I'm not going to turn on the news. Things of that nature. Those are just some very simple examples. I also have on here mind, body, spirit. Part of my passion as someone who has an autoimmune disease, who was a workaholic, uh, I really do believe in mental, physical, spiritual balance. I call it my, my triangle. And doing something every day for yourself, even if it's two minutes, five minutes, do you take care of yourself? You take of your, you fuel your mind, your body, and your spirit every day. In the 12 week year, they actually build it out into a bigger circle of areas of life that you can focus on. For me, that's actually too much. I think it's easier to just break it down, mind, body, and spirit. And then if you set clear and healthy boundaries for yourself, it's a lot easier to be able to, to focus on what you're, you're gonna be able to fuel in your day. If it doesn't serve you, if it doesn't serve your vision, if it doesn't fit into your, your ideal work week, it doesn't happen. That's why they say the 12 week year, you get more done in 12 weeks than you do in a year. And uh, just sell the Tara, you're not, you're not a lazy bum. Um, everybody's got a different number. So no comparisons. Okay. So let's talk a little bit more. Let's, let's break this down. What I just gave you probably didn't make a whole lot of sense. You see this chart, you know, this would be your homework. If I could give you homework, this is like, if I, if I could, I could do a two hour workshop on all this stuff, you guys. Um, but your homework would be, you know, you just wrote down how many hours a week do you want to work? And then how are you going to break those hours down? And then how much time do you spend with your family? How much time are you spending eating? Again, this is like your financial planner, right? I'm like your time planner. Okay. If there was such a thing your hobbies, you know, your chores, do you write all that stuff down? Now there's a law out there, it's called Parkinson's law. You know, if you allow more time to do stuff, you'll put more stuff off. Like if you can constrict your time and really like school, again, think about it. You had 50 minutes for reading, 50 minutes for science, you know, really challenge yourself. One of my favorite things for people who, who don't love certain things on their list, like the, the non-negotiables, like you, you got to do your prospecting, got to be making your phone calls, 
you got to set time aside for the most important things like even reflection and all that kind of stuff. Those, those get put on your list first and you, you just, they're non-negotiable. You don't take them off. But if you decide that you put more stuff on your list, you're going to put some of those non-negotiable stuff off. So just make sure that whatever you do is you don't put too much on your plate and then the non-negotiables go away and you put things off and you put things off before you know it kept, kept, um, catches up with you and you don't actually have the goals and the dreams and the life that you wanted to create. So let's create that ideal work week. And here, here are some, some things that I put on, on my list. You know, do you review your vision every day? That's something that I have my clients do. And if you do that, that's, that's how I was able to um, help Chris, the bookkeeper, accomplish a lot of goals in three months because he wrote his vision down every day and he reviewed it. Um, do you have power hour calling time? That's what I work with my clients on as part of lead generation. Do you have a certain amount of appointments that have to be, if you, if you put your appointments on your calendar before the people show up, that's a build it and you will come tip. Uh, if you do, you probably don't do door knocking right now, <laughs> but if you did, is that on your list? Do you have webinars on your list? And one point really quick on webinars is, and I really respect you being here and spending your time with me right now, um, but the goal is to, to not just fill your day with webinars. You know, that's, that's part of the Parkinson's law thing, right? Is, you know, keep your non-negotiables sacred and, and figure out how many webinars can you do a day? And is it producing a result? Is it producing a tangible result? If not, then it's a time waster and it needs to go. Um, eight by eight, that's a, that's a CRM thing. I won't go into that day. Do you spend time asking for referrals every day? That's a time management hack. If you don't have enough leads coming in, are you making enough phone calls and asking for referrals? A couple of you are on here because I called you today and I personally invited you and asked, hey, do you know someone that could attend? And you said, well, I'll be there. And I appreciate that. But do you do that every day? Do you have things, do you have funnels, do you have lead magnets? And of course, time for reflection. Oops, sorry, I'm, I'm almost, I wanna share with you a couple more of my favorite things. And one of them is the model work week. If anybody has any questions, if you wanna quickly put them in the chat while I put that up, I just realized I just got a new computer. <laughs> Bless my husband, he got me a, a new computer and now um, I don't have my document up like I did on my old computer. So if anybody has, oh, look at that. I got it, okay. I think, Wikipedia. It's opening and if not, I apologize. We might go to the questions faster. So I have a daily compass document that I give, and this is my gift to you guys today um, for free. Um, part of the biggest thing, you know, that Jim Rohn always said, he's one of my, my favorites of all time. He said, when do you start your week, Lois? And it's, it's when it's finished. And with this document right here, um, you can use this to help you focus and help you get more done in your day. Uh, sorry, sorry, more, yeah, more done in your day and be more focused and more clear, especially if you're reading the 12 week year. This is my own tool. This is not a 12 week year um, document. It's my daily compass and a guide. So if you take time every morning or the night before when you go to bed and you wanna put your, your day on paper, that's great. Um, I am a big believer in writing things down. There's some, that part of the brain that's not getting used as much when you're on webinars all day and when you're typing all day, it doesn't stick in the brain. Actually, this has been known technology to actually create more forgetfulness and being more confused and frenetic. If you have it written down on paper, I actually have my own example right here, my daily compass and guide. I print out seven every Sunday night. I fill out most of them, but not all. Uh, I usually, I do take one day at a time in case there's any course correction throughout the week, but I have my, my income producing activity activities. I have my 12 week year focus points on here as well. Um, personal and professional. 
I write my vision there at the top and it might be a shorter version of it, but very something specific that I'm working on in that day, in that week, in a project that's specific to my bigger vision or my 12 week vision. I talk about how I'm gonna fuel myself for the day, mentally, physically, and spiritually. And then you can, you can when I email this to you, everybody that's on here is gonna get this, okay? I will email it to everyone. If you start your day at five, great. If you start it at nine, great. You can change that. You can edit that and make this your own. You can even, if you wanted to, you could even um, convert it. And, and some people have even turned it into an Excel document. But again, I like to have it printed out because if I carry it on my clipboard, everywhere I go, my Excel documents, not as, as easily where I can check things off as I go throughout the day. If you're like me, I don't know if this is for you, but when I check things off, that gives me a dopamine hit that makes me feel good and then I don't, I don't forget anything and I don't rely on a computer that might crash or a phone that might crash. So I write everything down that I'm gonna do, I review it, I visualize it before I even start my day. And at the end of the day, this is the end of the day reflection questions. This is what I was talking about earlier. Do you reflect and then course correct? Because every day is a clean slate. Even if you had a bad day, which in the 12 week year, again, one day equals one week, one week equals one month. Again, clarity, focus, purpose-driven. You're gonna say no to things that don't serve you and your family and your goals and your dreams. At the end of these questions, you know, what worked? What was my favorite part of the day? Focusing on the positive and then what didn't work. I also like to ask myself, did I show up with greatness? Was I kind? Because to me, that's important. And then of course, what, got off, what got me off track today or distracted me? from my goals. So I don't know if anybody here does anything like that, but that one document could be something of value that you use. And I know I have um, some people on here who are, are clients of mine. If you guys, at, when I wrap up here, I might have you share some, some testimonials um, on what's really, really helped you in using that. And I apologize, guys, I don't think I can open up this other document because it's on my my new computer we'll, we'll see here maybe i got it i wanted to show you yeah i got it sweet so i want to show you an example um and then we're going to wrap it up and open it up for q a an example of what a model work week work week should look like and if i can make this bigger Make it a little bit bigger for you guys. Yeah, it's it's not it's not huge. Can you guys see that right now? Let me know if you can. Okay. Says my screen sharing is paused. Um, what I'll probably do, guys, is I'll email that out to you. The I, model work week just shows you all the different time use blocks. How to how to block your time how to make sure that you're setting your appointments, you're prospecting your referral lunches and putting all the stuff that you wrote down that you wanna do in your work hours and actually putting it, putting it on paper and leveraging that throughout the week. And that brings us back to that graph. All right. So what next action will you take based on all of these things that we just covered and your personal time management chart or choice management, as I'd like to call it, there's, there's no such thing as time management. It's, it's your daily choices, you know, how you spend your time and how does it serve your vision? And are you clear on that vision? Do you review your vision every day? Um, do you have a champion, time use champion mindset? Are you gonna work on your affirmations? Uh, will you, who's gonna hold you accountable for your goals and your dreams? Hopefully you guys have, have coaches out there just like me. Um, will you read the 12 week year? Um, highly recommend that book. If, if you do nothing else, please get that book. Uh, the application of it and the execution of it isn't always easy. <laughs> That's why there's trainers out there like me. Or the very simple thing, I'd love it if you use my daily compass, my free tool that I will email a copy of to you guys. 
And I always like to say, this is why I, I really, really honor and respect your time for being here today, is what will inaction cost you? You know, if you don't take action and, and focus on time management or productivity, you will have less time with your family and friends because you'll be working all the time and you'll burn out. And that's, that's, that's a sign of scarcity, guys. You can always, always, always find time to focus and just, you know, power hours, I call them, even scheduling those is huge. You'll be like me. I manifested an autoimmune disease because I was just pushing, working hard, 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 going, 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 going all the time. And I was making a lot of money, but I, at what cost? And getting really sick cost me thousands and thousands, if not six figures, guys, more than six figures now that I think about it, because there was also lost income because of those health challenges. There was no vacation uh, decrease in income because you're spinning your wheels. Stress levels will increase if you don't focus on your time. <laughs> You'll be like, I'm another year older, but, but well, how did that happen? You know, I had so many goals, the New Year's resolutions crowd, oh, I'll just do it next year. And with inaction on today's message, you know, your dreams are also more elusive. So really quickly, a couple testimonials um, from Kathy in Minneapolis. She's a sales manager at Heartland Payment Systems. Uh, I helped her and her team, her sales team, um, actually onboard more sales uh, team members with this same 12 week year. And she was able to, to hire me before COVID. So COVID was a non-event for her and her sales team because of my coaching and support and unfocus on the 12 week year tools. Mary is another one-on-one -on -one client who graduated into my online coaching program. Um, she was with the company for four years, had world-class training and mentorship, but it took me and the 12 week year concepts over just actually 30 days. And she had her highest uh, customer base and high, highest recruits for her business in that one month beating all those four years prior. So if you know someone, um, and it might even be you, uh, that I'd love to be able to share with them my, my limited time pricing. Uh, this is pandemic pricing on my online coaching program. Um, it will go up uh, soon, but I don't know when that'll be. I haven't picked a date partially because I want to help more people. Um, and some of you are already in my program. So if, you, if you've had good experience and you want to give me a shout out, please, please share more um, about that as well. Um, but just for $50 a month, guys, $50 a month. I've never had a coach um, myself until, well, just recently, actually, someone who was, was that low for the value that they give. I'm going to give you way more value than $50 a month. Um, but it's like a subscription base, almost like a gym membership and you get a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me that's valued at $500, and you can quit at any time. So if you or someone you know is struggling with all of these things we're talking about today, they're overwhelmed, they, they still don't know where to go with the rest of the year, um, or even the month of July, and they need direction and focus, uh, I'd be honored to, to work with them. I also have a $397 lifetime online coaching membership. It's a one-time um, fee, never have to pay anything ever again. It can include a spouse or a business partner for free. So it's a two for, a two for one, um, $397 for life. Um, I'm, I'm greedy. I want to help you for the rest of your life, the rest of mine. And I'm actually doing a lot more. It's not just a time management program. It's how to prospect, book appointments, sell virtually, how to use Zoom, go to webinar, how to use social media and video, um, how to publish content and repurpose content. Like me, I started a podcast in, guess what? I did it in a 12 week period where I'm actually going to be able to increase and have helped people write books in 90 days and start a blog and all these different things that I learned over the last 13 years, I'm pouring into this course. And then of course, become a master of your schedule, set those boundaries, those elusive boundaries and create more of a work-life balance and get paid what you are worth. Um, I'm also gonna be including all of that in a private Facebook group. So every week there's 30 to 60 minute live classes, uh, daily email or Facebook messenger access that one 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 on one game planning session for just I value at five hundred dollars right there. Um, that's that's worth the price of admission. And then of course you'll have all the content that I give you that you create 
for the rest of your life. Whether you start a YouTube channel, whether you, you know, do whatever you want with your time, we're going to figure out a plan to really, really make the last half of 2020 even better than your first half. And for some of you that that may or may not take a whole lot, but I'm, I'm honored to be able to serve you. And then there's additional discounts um, for people who if they'd like to uh, do any additional one-on-one -on -one coaching. And if anybody does sign up in the next 24 hours, again, um, for those of you who aren't my BNI referral partners and are here to learn how to give me better referrals, uh, I will also give you a $300 bonus gift. It's the 12 week year achieve on like um, software. Um, that Brian Moran, the, the author of the New York Times bestselling book, The 12 Week Year, uh, has a, as an online technology tool that you can write your vision. So it makes it even easier to review it every day, um, short term and long term vision, as well as your goals for the whole 12 weeks and be able to track and score. You got to keep score. You got to know your numbers to grow your numbers and measure your results. And there's algorithms in there that I can look at. If you're not hitting a certain percentage, I can tell you whether or not you're going to complete your 12 week goals. And as any good coach should, I can hold you accountable and keep you, keep you going. So does anybody have any questions on anything that I've shared with you today? And apologize for the technology snafu on the model work week. That's one of my favorite things. I'll email that out to you guys as well. And if I think you could come off mute, if you have any questions, if not, great. I hope you got some value. I hope you have some way to take action. I do have a closing story before we finish. Good question. Um, someone did ask, uh, what does the $50 a month include as far as training? Um, sorry that that wasn't clear every Monday. Uh, I teach a 30 to 60 minute live class. It's not just on time management. It's not just on 12 week year. Um, I, I encompass the whole Kofi sales formula in that. Um, and it's open, uh, it's a live discussion. So people ask questions and I, I coach people live every Monday from, uh, it's actually 8.30 to 9.30 Pacific time. Uh, that's the, the live training that you guys get. And I'm also gonna have guest speakers and other experts in different areas that will be able to share um, some value for that as well. And it's all in Facebook. So you do have to have a Facebook account to be a part of that training. Oh, sure. Hey, Lois, Lois hey. quick question. Yeah, hey, good to see you guys. Um, will you be sharing this presentation? I have someone in mind who I think will benefit from what you are teaching and so on. So I would love to send it to her. Absolutely. That's a great point. Um, I will email this out to you guys. I've been recording this. Mm -hmm. so the recording will uh, be sent out, if not tonight, by tomorrow. And absolutely. Thank you. Feel free to share it with, with anyone. And yes, Jonathan, I will send you um, a list of my, my coaching offers. I, I actually have uh, a link that I'll be able to send to you. It's, it's actually on, just so you guys know. Um, I'll post this in there as well. I'll, my coaching, this, this what I'm talking about today, is actually on my main website, which is www.loiskofi.com. Any other questions? Otherwise, I have a really awesome, awesome story that I would like to be able to share with you guys. Feel free, and this has to do with. Yeah, I have one question. Yes, sir. Yeah, your story, uh, I want to know, but I was wondering uh, could you share with us what uh, maybe you did earlier and I missed that part as I was talking with the client, but can you share with us how you, how it changed your life with your uh, husband, the uh, lovely Didier, and your lovely children? As far as which part, <laughs> there's so much. The 12 week year. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Well, the 12 week year itself, you know, once your intention is clear, and this is my belief, once, once I wrote down my vision, because it had been a while, and I shared that vision with my husband and my kids, I actually asked them to help me write it because they're a part of my vision, right? And this isn't all about Lois, it, it was about them. So I really encourage you 
to share these principles with your ch children because, oh my gosh, if I would have had this as a kid, whew, where would I be today, right? I'd probably be living in New Zealand already because that's, that's on my vision, right? It also, um, I, we had a vision to move back to California. So we actually had that written down and guess what? We did back-to-back 12-week -back years to be moving and living in here. It also helped me learn more about my husband's goals and dreams and how we could, you know, be equally yoked and align, you know, with those. Um, he doesn't read the book necessarily and apply the principles the same way I do because everybody's unique and different. Um, but it, it opened up those conversations and we've been able to help our kids be more focused and, and goal oriented. Um, so those are the, the key things that it, it just helped us with alignment and getting more done together as a family and, and setting the goals of being able to travel the world and conveying that to our kids. Well, if we wanna live laptop lifestyles, which we do now, not, not just because of COVID, we, we do, both of my husband and I were both working from home because we applied these principles. That's why I wanna teach these principles to the world. Then anything is possible. And so that's how I was able to take these principles and, and, and really impact my family and, and our future. I hope that answered your question. Yes, perfect, thank you. Yeah, that's cool, I like it. Awesome. And yes, yes, I actually, this is for those of you that if you go all in um, on, if, if anyone's a one-on-one -on -one client with me, I do give them a free copy of the book. I do give them uh, the Achieve for the rest of their life because normally that's $300 a year. Uh, I also give the Paper Planner. Um, I don't know, I just, I'm getting another one in the mail and I was hoping it would arrive by now because it, 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 I'm starting my new 12 week year this week um, to go, uh, it just happened to align that way. But yes, there is a paper planner. There's also a field guide. If you guys are interested, um, I actually did this one first, Ian, and to be honest with you, I actually, um, the field guide and the achieve, I prefer to the, the paper planner, but the paper planner is awesome. I think there's different strokes for different folks, different tools. I actually um, didn't use it as much also because I already have the daily compass as well. So keep in mind, that's been an ingrained habit for me. But if you guys love planners, like books, planners where they actually, they have a 12 week year planner, um, you can just buy that straight through the company and it's, it's phenomenal. They were back ordered for a while because um, they just launched that last year. And I'd love to know Ian and compare notes on how that's, that's going for you. Awesome. Wonderful. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead. If there's no questions, I, I am going to be someone sent me one. Um, yes, absolutely. I had, I had 48 people register for this guys and I'm going to be emailing it out to everybody. Um, because a lot of them were in different time zones and it was super late. So, and, um, I will be getting into a rhythm too of doing these on a monthly basis, if not, you know, every week. Uh, just to get more people support because that's what it is like my my pricing that I'm offering is rock bottom granted it's not just 12 week year focused for that but there's a ton of that it's all time management it's all how do you spend your time and your marketing takes time your lead generation takes time your booking appointments webinars how are you attracting leads all of that takes the same thing time and time use and how you're putting it into your calendar and how you're getting it done. Execution, that's, that's all of the, the 12 week year. They actually used to call it the execution companies, um, the, the founding you know, fathers of this concept that, because that's the number one thing that most people are lacking is execution. And if left to your own devices, if you're not accountable to someone else, that's why I have three coaches, not one, not two, but three, because <laughs> I wanna like an athlete achieve at the highest level um, make sure you find that accountability person. If it's not me, you know, that's, that's, that's perfect, but, but find, find someone. Thanks, Jenny. Okay. I'm going to finish with a story guys and feel free to reach out to me. Um, I, I will email out the, uh, this information. If anybody's never heard this story, it, it might make you, um, you know, tear up a little bit, but it's, it's something that I heard years and years ago and it summarizes my message 
perfectly. A professor stood before his philosophy class and had some items in front of him. When the class began, he picked up a large and empty mayonnaise jar and proceeded to fill it with golf balls. He then asked the students who were watching eagerly if the jar was full. And he said, they said, yes, it's full. Then the professor picked up a box of pebbles and poured them into the jar. He shook the jar lightly and the pebbles rolled into the open cracks between the golf balls. He then asked the students again if the jar was full and they agreed that it was full, nothing else could fit. Then the professor picked up a box of sand and poured it into the jar. Of course, the sand filled up every other crack and crevice that was open. He asked once more if the jar was full and the students responded with the unanimous, yes, it's full. But then the professor produced two cups of coffee from under the table and poured the contents into the jar, effectively filling the last empty spaces between the sand and the students all laughed. At this point in the story, believe it or not, I lost my con network connection. It took me another hour before I could, wait a minute, uh, oh, sorry, sorry, he was reading an email. The story continues. Now, said the professor, as the laughter subsided, I want you to recognize that this jar represents your life. The golf balls are the important things, your family, your children, your health, your friends, and your favorite passions. And if everything else was lost and only they remained, your life would be full. The pebbles are the other things that matter, like your job, your house, and your car. The sand is everything else, the small stuff. You put the sand into the jar first, there is no room for the pebbles or the golf balls. The same goes for life. If you spend all your time and energy on the small stuff, you will never have room for the things that are important to you. Pay attention to the things that are critical to your happiness. Play with your children, take time to get medical checkups, take your spouse out to dinner, play another 18. There will always be time to clean the house, take care of the golf balls first, the things that really matter, set your priorities, the rest is just stand, sand. One of the students raised her hand and inquired what the coffee represented. The professor smiled and said, I'm glad you asked. It just goes to show you that no matter how full your life may seem on the hamster wheel of life, there's always room for a couple of cups of coffee with a friend. So that's just a, a personal poignant reminder, you know, having been that workaholic, having been that person, you know, who missed her kids events and things just when priorities got kind of out of whack, there's more to life and you choose how to spend that life and you choose how to spend that time. And I hope you guys got some value out of today. I look forward to hearing from those of you that have any questions and uh, hope you have a great rest of your day and, and have a great kickoff to your new year tomorrow, July 1st. Bye-bye for now.